probably work this out already, but it's pretty clear that the MCU has seen better days. This year alone, we have seen nothing but diminishing returns, divisive TV shows, and of course, She-Hulk, which is one of the most insulting and demeaning properties that has come out of Marvel ever. In fact, I think, honestly, at this point, it is liked less than Captain Marvel. So, I don't know if Marvel is just sitting there throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, but it does seem that the more they insist on race swaps, gender swaps, and uh, orientation swaps, shall we say, to score political points on Twitter and virtue signal, the less actual money is coming in. Or, as it's also known, get woke, go broke. And now we're looking at Black Panther 2, which is on the horizon. A very underwhelming looking film to be ending the extremely underwhelming Phase 4 or Phase 4 or Stage 4, if you want to go there. And all she can talk about is how her character is queer. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. And if you're enjoying the content, I would very much appreciate a like on the video and maybe even a subscribe. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. Let's go to Breitbart then and see what is going on here. Disney's Black Panther 2 star, Michaela Cole, who, by the way, I had to do a good 10 minutes of Googling before I found out that she is apparently a biological female. Doesn't look like one to me, but whatever. Says it's important her character is queer. That sold me on the roll. Wow, so that's all that mattered to you, right? It wasn't about playing an interesting character, a good script, something that will further your career and prove that you're a good actress. No, it's just the fact that you get to play someone who is non-traditional, straight, or even gay, or lesbot, or just whatever queer means now, because it doesn't mean what it used to mean. That sold you on the roll, did it? That's all it took. Doesn't matter the quality, just the diversity. Well, that's the age we live in now, and let's see how it goes. But for now, we can speculate. Screenwriter and actress Michaela Cole said she joined Disney-owned Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever because my character is queer. And she felt it was important for me to step in and tell a Legapataka story, which she hopes the anti-gay country of Ghana will see. Oh, no, no. Oh, you sweet summer child. This is what always happens, isn't it? They go... Oh no, I need to make sure that there is representation of diversity and, and weird gender and sexuality stuff in my character. And then they always want it to go and, and like school the world on what they think, but they don't realize that outside of the US, Canada, parts of Australia and parts of the UK, nobody gives a damn about any of this. Okay, some of Europe too. But the further you get away from the first world, the further you get into the third world, the more you are going to discover people who laugh at this ridiculousness. Look at Matt Walsh's How, uh, What is a Woman? And you will see that scene where he is in Africa talking to a tribe about whether or not men can be women and women can be men. And they are laughing their heads off at him like he is a freak. Like he has just said the weirdest stuff that they have never even thought of in their lives. So good luck getting Ghana on side. Really, really good luck. Cole recently confirmed to Vogue that her character's sexuality is what sold her on starring in the Black Panther sequel. I'm sure it wasn't the label MCU or the fact that it's a Black Panther movie or the money. No, no, no. It's, it's about playing a warrior combat instructor called Anika, or Anika, I don't know, who falls in love with her warrior colleague Ayo, which, uh... <laughs> What? Played by Florence Kasumba. And their prohibited affair causes problems in the ranks. Oh, yeah. Oh, bring it. Oh, I can feel those views coming in my way right now. Do it. Please turn Wakanda Forever into a, into a film about lesbians. Great. Just do it. Go on. Go on. I want it. That sold me on the roll, that fact that my character's queer, Cole said. I thought, I like that. I want to show that to Ghana. And there, of course, is a picture of uh, this actress herself. I mean it. I, I, I looked extensively. That's a woman. Apparently. 
Anyway, while the actress was born in the United Kingdom, she is of Ghanaian descent. And like many African countries, Ghana has anti lgbt laws. Additionally, Ghana's parliament is currently reviewing new legislation that would reportedly reportedly make identifying as gay or even a supporter of the Lugabutu community a second degree felony, publishable by five years in prison. Wow, the West is dying and the East and the South and Africa is rising. People say, oh, it's fine, it's just politics, but I don't think it's just politics when it affects how people get to live their daily lives. Now, I mean, I certainly don't believe that you should be sent to prison for being a lesbian or gay or whatever. Absolutely not. I mean, people have a right to live and they can't help their biology, right? However, if you're gonna push politics and try to change a culture to give special treatment and privilege to people for deviating from nature's normalities, then, you know, it's just not really gonna happen, is it? Especially when you are trying to change kids who might otherwise have turned out differently by using propaganda. That is why we are angry. And that is why I'm not actually that bothered if there's a, a law against something like that. Just not a law against people's freedoms. Okay? There's a difference. That's why it felt important to me to step in and do that role because I know just by my being Ghanaian, Ghanaians will come. Um, yeah, for the first week. And then they will tell their families about it and no one else is coming. Cole's queer character is not the first time Marvel Cinematic Universe has featured an openly gay hero on the big screen. In 2020, Marvel promoted its first man-on-man -man gay kiss in its film, The Eternals. Look how that film did. Actress Angelina Jolie uh, reacted by saying she was proud that Marvel refused to cut Eternal scenes featuring the openly gay superhero from Middle Eastern countries that censor Lugabutica content, adding that anyone who doesn't appreciate gay content in movies is ignorant. Yes, and the movie did horrendously badly and was widely panned for it. Not everybody is as woke as Hollywood, it seems, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to see this movie unless it turns out that there's some very, very good reason to. But what about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out very, very much. Thank you. I'll be back with another video for you very soon. But until then, see you next time.